In this video, you're going to become more familiar with SSH, the Secure Shell Protocol, which is used for remotely managing computers by executing commands. So, Secure Shell is a protocol that's typically used for providing secure remote access to computers, so away from the place of work typically. It also provides secure remote access for automated processes. It allows administrators, for example, to issue remote commands away from the place of work. So its most typical use, as we say, is for managing a network away from the place of office. Now, there used to be an old version which did the same thing called Telnet, but that typically is not used anywhere these days, as this was an unencrypted method of connecting. Secure Shell uses public key encryption, which we covered in the previous section of videos, to authenticate the user and prevent unauthorised access. So here, remotely, away from the place of work, we have a client's uh, PC with the Secure Shell protocol installed. And here we have a, a server, for example, inside an office, possibly behind a firewall, which has the Secure Shell protocol installed as well. The first thing that happens is the client initiates the connection by contacting the server. And this is all handled by this protocol. The protocol then sends the public key out to the client. Once that's done, the server and client agree communication rules and then open a secure channel through which down various commands can then be sent. The user now has complete remote access to the host operating system and can issue commands. Now there's something really clever about Secure Shell which you need to appreciate for the exam. An SSH, an SSH client can also be used in conjunction with other application level protocols like HTTP for web traffic, POP3 for email. The SSH client can make a TCP connection on a remote port and send commands to that port using an appropriate protocol. In this way, you can use SSH to effectively tunnel through a company firewall on port 22. 22 is the port for the secure shell. You can then send other requests through this tunnel, for example, a HTTP GET request to grab a web page from this server. And not only does that mean we're bypassing the usual firewall rules, but the communication is also encrypted. So here we can see we have a company firewall and all the ports have been disabled. So there you go, there's the hypertext transfer protocol uh, disabled. And there's port 80, so the normal web page port. And let's say, for example, this is out of office hours. Maybe this is um, 9 o'clock in the evening. And maybe the administrator has set the system up so all ports in and out of the company are closed and locked outside of office hours, except his secure shell. Once he gets access, this creates a tunnel through the firewall, and he can then issue an HTTP GET request, which typically would go on port 80. Remember, it is blocked, and that will now pass encrypted securely through the tunnel. So this is a very powerful uh, protocol.